The Champions League is the most prestigious trophy you can win in football. Today, we're going to be building a squad of the best players who never won the Champions League. Starting off a player who recently retired after a 23-year career, who never won it, which is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We're going to add him to our squad. Playing for Ajax, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Juventus, Manchester United, Barcelona. Sadly, Zlatan would never make it past the semi-final stage of the Champions League. But scoring 43 goals in 112 games in the UCL is an impressive record. However, he did manage to win the Europa League with Manchester United, which I feel is a better competition to win anyway, in my opinion. Now, our next player is the GOAT of goalkeeping, and he managed to get his hand on every single trophy possible, apart from the Champions League. And he's also still playing at the age of 45 for his beloved Parma in the Serie B. Only rated 79 rated at 45, that's not bad though. Gianluigi Buffon added to the team. Buffon is one of the most capped players in the Champions League, but there has also been a lot of heartache for him. Losing three Champions League finals, one in 2003 to AC Milan on penalties, one in 2000 15 to Barcelona and last one in 2017 to Real Madrid. Surely one of these teams could just let him win it just for football heritage. Now we're going to be bringing in our first midfielder who is a Ballon d'Or winner playing for Bayern Munich. Again another player who's won everything that you can in his career apart from a Champions League. The closest this player came to winning it was in a Champions League final playing for Bayern Munich against Manchester United. They were 1-0 up for the majority of the game and Manchester United scored two goals in stoppage time to win the treble and also of course win the Champions League. And to be honest that sounds a bit spursy to me to score to concede two goals in stoppage time. Adding in the mullet specialist Lota Matthias. Now we're going to add our first Baldy into the team, who's a former teammate of Gianluigi Buffon, who's also suffered two UCL final defeats for Barcelona back in 2015 and Real Madrid in 2017. I mean, it could have been either, it could have been Bonucci, it could have been Chiellini, but we're going to take out Chiellini and add him to our squad. He's also one of the best to never win it. But some would say it's justice for him pulling back Bukayo Saka in that Euro 2020 final. Just imagine if he didn't pull back Saka in that final. Saka would have went on, had a shot, and skied it over the bar anyway. Now, keeping the theme with bald Italian men, we're going to add another Italian centre-back. But this time, this guy is a Ballon d'Or winner who failed to get his fingers on this trophy. Despite playing for Real Madrid, Juve, Inter Milan, and Napoli, never got a sniff at it. And the closest he came to winning with Inter Milan in 2003 in the semi-finals. Coming into the team, Fabio. Cannavaro. Now we're going to add our second attacker into the team, better known as the King, but probably nowadays known as the guy who gives out great speeches and also Kung Fu Kicks fans. He only ever played in the UCL across four seasons, which isn't a lot to be fair. And you're probably thinking, how's this guy even made the team? Obviously, he's an ex-Main Night player, so he's got to go in the team. But he also did win five Premier Leagues, two FA Cups, two League of One trophies as well. But of course, did not get nowhere near the Champions League. Our second United legend coming into the team, Eric Cantona. Now we're going back to our defence now. We've actually found a decent attacker. Italian defender with a good hairline. I know it's crazy considering we've got Chiellini and Cannavaro here. Another world-class footballer playing for Juventus, AC Milan and Barcelona. He played with Buffon in that 2003 Champions League final, losing on penalties to AC. And again, another player who'd won everything. He's won the World Cup, he's won league titles in different countries, but couldn't sniff that Champions League trophy. He can play left back, he can play right back, but he's going to slide it on his left-hand side. Zambrotta. Now to start building our squad, we need to add some players into the bench. And the first player on our bench is called the Non-Flying Dutchman. That is his nickname. And that's because he didn't like travelling to away games by plane. And I'm actually being serious about this one, by the way. Playing for Ajax, Arsenal, Inter Milan. And the closest he came to winning it, the UCL final defeat versus Barcelona. Where Arsenal were 1-0 up for the majority of the game with 10 men. Barcelona scored two goals in 13 minutes to win it. He was an unused substitute that game, probably due to travel sickness. Making an appearance on the bench, Dennis Burkamp. Now our next bench player, who's the only player still playing to this day, who is a world-class striker. He can't stop scoring goals, even in a poor team. But he loves his club so much that it's highly unlikely he'll ever leave. He may never even win a trophy if he stays at his club. It's that bad. Joining Dennis Burkamp on the bench, Harry Kane. Most as he came to winning it was a 2-0 defeat to Liverpool in the Champions League final. With a bit of help from Musa Sissoko, putting his arm right in the air, give Liverpool a nice early lead from the spot. And it goes to show that that chant about Sissoko is true. You'll never get past the SoCo. Back to our starting eleven now. We're going to add a former teammate of Dennis Bergkamp. His former teammate played for Arsenal, played for AC Milan, played for Inter Milan, played for Juventus, and also played for Manchester City. But this was before the oil money took over. He never came too close to winning it. But if he would have stayed at Inter Milan in 2010, rather than joining the oil money of Manchester City, then he may have had himself Champions League medal. As Inter Milan that season went on to win it. So joining our star-studded lineup already, Patrick Vieira joins the team. We're now halfway through our squad, and if you want these players to finally 
you win a UCL, you need to hit that subscribe button super hard. Go and smash the life out of it. Subscribe to the channel. Now, completing our defense is yet again another United legend. Another player who's won everything there is to win in the game. The World Cup, the Euros, league titles. But as I said, couldn't sniff that Champions League. Playing for Manchester United, playing for Napoli, playing for Marseille, playing for Inter Milan. And even as a manager for PSG, with all the money in the world, still could not bring home a Champions League. And to be honest with you, he's not the greatest card on FIFA either. Taking our last defender spot at 69k, it's the Laurent Blanc. Now back to add some more players to our bench. And again, we've got another Ballon d'Or winner, another former teammate of Zambrotta and Buffon. The closest this guy come to winning it was that penalty shootout defeat to AC Milan back in 2003 with Buffon, with Zambrotta. One of the best wingers of all time as well. But to be honest with you, he had one of the most suspect haircuts <laughs> in football. So joining Harry Kane and Burkamp on the bench, is Nedved. Now, our next player is another player who recently retired this season. He's an absolute magician, an absolute wizard on the football pitch. Most he came to winning it was with Real Madrid, where they lost to Bayern on penalties in the semi-finals. Probably a player talked about for not doing enough in his career, had all the ability in the world, but the work rate was just down here. He did also play for Arsenal, but I think we're all aware that Arsenal just about make it out of the group, gets around 16, and then it's uh, goodbye Vienna. And this guy is so good that he could find space in a single bed with an elephant. Joining the team, Metzit Ozil. Now we're going to stick with the same nation, German. Again, another world-class midfielder. Played for Bayern Munich, played for Chelsea. But this guy has to be one of the most unluckiest footballers in the history of football when it comes to cup finals. In total, throughout his career, he lost six cup finals. And in one year, playing for Chelsea in the Champions League final against Manchester United, lost on penalties when John Terry had the chance to win it for him. But of course, he slipped into someone else's bed. And also in the same year, he lost to Spain in the Euros final as well. Just to make that year just a little bit worse for him as well. Man United also won the league and beat Chelsea to it on the final day. So joining his German teammate, Michael Ballack joins the team. This time we're going to be adding an English Ballon d'Or winner to the team. Playing for Manchester United, playing for Newcastle, playing for Real Madrid and also playing for Liverpool where he was mainly known for. Obviously Newcastle back then wasn't very good by the way. I mean it's crazy to think that we're talking about an English person actually winning a Ballon d'Or considering we're not very good at football here. Sadly for this player, injuries hampered his whole career and stopped him becoming one of the greats of football. I'm sure he probably would have been. Better known nowadays for his top class punditry skills. When they don't score, they hardly have a winner. So joining these players that also failed to win the Champions League is the Manchester United and Premier League winner in Michael Owen. Now to completing our midfield in the team, again, is another Italian legend. Ballon d'Or winner, played for all the top teams in Italy, Juventus, Inter and AC Milan. Again, never really got near to winning the Champions League. But if there's one thing I do know, he was an absolute magician on a football pitch. And to be honest with you, a lot of you probably won't know this guy because he mainly played in Serie A, but he's a Ballon d'Or winner. He's another Italian star and it's Rush and it's Roberto Baggio. Now, our second to last player. Again, you're gonna get sick of hearing me say this, but it's another United legend. Played for Manchester United. He played for Real Madrid as well, Hamburg, and also played for Malaga, who are somehow now in like the third division in Spain. Again, another player that never got too near to winning the Champions League, never passed the quarter final stage, whether it was playing for Manchester United, Malaga, or even Real Madrid. Unfortunately, this player is best known for missing a penalty at Old Trafford versus Arsenal, which then meant they were went on to be invincible. The only team to do it in the Premier League, to be fair. So taking up our last spot on the bench, second to last spot in the team, Rude Van Nistelrooy. Now, as they say, we always save the best to last. And you're not going to believe that this guy did not win a Champions League. Played for PSV, for Barcelona, for Inter Milan, for Real Madrid, for AC Milan, all throughout their peak. Played for Real Madrid throughout the Galacticos era. As you can tell already, loyalty is not really a thing with this guy. But he literally won everything. Won everything they could with Brazil. He won titles across different countries, but just didn't get anywhere near the Champions League. The one trophy that, as a footballer, you probably want to win apart from the World Cup. He's also a Ballon d'Or winner and also, by other professionals, one of the best players of all time. That's how good this guy is. Nicknamed El Phenomenon and, of course, with one of the most suspect haircuts ever to grace the game of football. In comes the go, the original Ronaldo. So, we have our completed UCL losers team. A little bit harsh, but they never won.
have won it. But what they don't know is I'm going to give them the opportunity to finally win the Champions League. All these players are going to play in the Champions League final right here, right now. But even if I win, I still have to discard these players if I concede. But for every single goal that I concede, this team of players will be put on a discard wheel and one will be chosen at random. And all I'm saying is I really hope it's not Zlatan because he just cost me 1.4 million and I need that money. And the team we're coming up against is a Serie A All-Stars team. And funny enough, none of these players on the pitch here have won it. So it's a game of winner takes all. There we go, there's our nine. There's their step overs, but he's just got caught up by Grimaldo. Oh, look who we just conceded to. Zlatan, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, that's what he does. One last time. Oh, it's R9. I heard he likes his women a little bit older than that, though. Who is the... what? The Botka. He's dribbled like a prime Messi and Ronaldo. Great play. Ibrahimovic. Oh, yes. Loaf Matthias. Finish that off like a loaf of bread. Let's go. Oh my god. And this is why they've never won it. Oh, it's rattled the bar. Prince Harry, so close. What a save. Buffon. Even at the age of 84, he's still doing it. Runner. Oh, he just. They're giving me the wrong Ronaldo. I wanted Cristiano. It's Harry Kane. People have always said he's a good dribbler. Well, there we have it. They had a chance to win the Champions League. But instead, the whole team signed for Tottenham Hotspur. The meaning there can only be one winner. It definitely isn't me because I've got to discard four players now. As we can see, with four goals. Four players will be getting discarded at random. And the first one's going to be Patrick Vieira. He prefers money over winning trophies anyway, as we know. Player number two will be Giolini. That's one less bald guy in the team. Still got two more. Uh, Harry Kane. And last but not least okay we can deal with that so there's bye bye to Kane there's bye bye to Nedved bye bye to Patrick Vieira last but not least Chiellini and if you enjoyed this video you should go and watch when I made Haaland a giant